Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the use insertion effect, which is a hook you added from React 18, but I have never used it before, actually. Um, I think few of us have used it before, right? Uh, anyway, on the official documentation about it, uh, React team has pointed out that it's especially for CSS and JS library authors, but of course, uh, from the source code, uh, you cannot narrow it down for CSS in JS library, right? You don't know how people are using this, if use your API. Um, so what is it? Uh, there are some detailed explanations uh, on this document and also the difference between uh, other why it's necessary. Uh, but let's recall the effect we have known so far. The first one is use effect. And the other one is your layout effect. The big difference is that um, I think I've already explain both of them use effect and use layout effect we're just layout effect layout effect yeah pretty long time ago um so the lay layout effect will be committed right after the dom is updated so it allows us to retrieve the uh retrieve the uh like uh updated dom like get the information from the dom um as soon as possible when it's ready and even it's synchronously so there's no gap there's no flush like a flickering of the ui uh, you can you can like modify the uh, dom by setting up a updating a state triggering a re-rendering and a dom will be updated again the users won't see them because it's synchronous it's synchronous on the other hand use effect is another uh, effect it's called passive effect internally um, it is not synchronous it's async um, it is done by the uh, I think it's about done by message channel um, so you can think of the the it is done by the react scheduler you can think of it like a very good version of set timeout uh, with uh, with a zero delay because if you use set timeout there will be some minimum delay um, depending on the platforms maybe the Re Chrome has removed that but I, I don't know uh, anyway um, just to think 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 at it as a good version of set timeout so it's async uh, if you need something from a dom uh, so basically you use the uh, the use effect it's good enough but if you really need the dom uh, you can use the layout effect right after the dom is updated but this use insertion effect gives us another timing to ins to inject some code which is the uh, which is before the mutation so uh, in general the order will be uh, insertion effect and then the mutation which is DOM update right the react has done a very good job uh, syncing its internal state with the applications and then calculate the minimum actions to update the DOM and then do the mutation which means update in DOM and then run the layout effect and then use effect so this is basically the order of this effect um, it's pretty simple actually um, so using for insertion effect internally for initial mount is mount insertion effect and update is update insertion effect internally they're using the same uh, implementation for uh, use layout effect or use effect you can see that it's all mount effect and update effect but uh, there are different tags to differentiate those effects like layout effect and passive effect we've already talked about them uh, this is one the newly added called insertion uh, effect um, and this will be used into this internal functions to uh, like uh, set up those effects cool so let's take a look at the commit rule again again uh, if you haven't haven't watched me explaining the uh, uh, react internals overview please search my channel for the very uh, beginning uh, to understand each phase so there's a um, okay I think I've put it here which is the uh, which is where um, yeah this overview so this is my summari summarization that uh, there are four phases first one is trigger set up all the things and the scheduler will schedule the task based on their priorities and the render is to calculate the react tree and also get the minimum actions and then commit will actually uh, commit to those actions to update the DOM so in the commit phase we can find the code that uh, uh, just kicks off uh, the, the flushing of the effects like this one like a pass effect which is the effect um, like a setup by use effect you can see that it is called but with a scheduling so schedule callback which is normal uh, priority and uh, yeah and this is 
async. It, you can look at the doc, like another post about me explaining the life cycle. Uh, yeah, I, I'll just skip here. So this is for passive effects. Remember it's async. And then we will go on to this one, commit mutation effect. This is where the DOM is uh, updated based on the React tree, internal fiber tree. Um, so yeah, this is the this is the what every UI library is doing, right? Um, keep the DOM synced with the internal state. This is mutation, either insertion or inserted node or update a node or did a node. And this one is layout effect, as we can see that this layout effect is triggered right after the mutation is done and there's no scheduling. So this is synchronous. There's nothing between them. Uh, that's why we can get the latest DOM uh, right in our layout effect. Cool. So this is commit phase. Um, and uh, inside of the commit mutation effects here, um, yeah, we can we can find the, uh, oh, here we can see that um, the here is the commit hook list on mount, and this one is mount. You can see the hook insertion, which is, means the insertion effects are processed. And then we'll hand, handle uh, the layout effects here, actually. Mm, commit hook layout, yeah. Oh, interesting. Uh, I didn't know before that actually this one is commit layout effects. It seems like the unmounting is inside of um, the community commit mutation effect. Well, the, the, the source code is a bit chaos, but uh, you will you will understand generally. So insertion effects will be um, like this one unmount and this is mount, right? So the cleanups will be done and then this will like set up the uh, we'll, we'll, we'll commit the uh, uh, insertion effect, and here we'll just do the cleanup of the layout, and uh, the uh, the committing will be in commit layout effect. Great, and also this function commit hood effects will be used for all three kinds of effects: insertion effects, layout effects. They're all the same. Cool, and uh, also the cleanup, um, as we see the amount here. Um, well, here will also there are well, there are similar logic in the deletion. Um, yeah, I've mentioned this kind of quite a lot of times, like the deletion because when we calculate the new fiber tree, the deleted nodes are already not in the final React tree. We need to store it somewhere else, which in React it put its it has used a list to collect. All those deleted fibers, you know, deleted nodes in its parent. Like so, in the commit phase, they will check the uh, list uh, about the deleted fibers and do those cleanups. So here we can see the cleanup. They say uh, update queue plus last effect, and then yeah, here um, if there is insertion, uh, insertion effect, and uh, we will destroy them. Uh, yeah, we will do the cleanup here. Right. Um, so that's it, actually. Um, the most important one is here. Uh, you see that it is um, committed uh, before the layout effect. Cool. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, there are some quizzes. Oh, there's a summary. Um, it says there are three kinds of uh, effects we can create now, which is insertion effect, Layout effect, pass effect, and the mutation effect is though it's effect, um, it's under the term of effects in, uh, with in, in React internals. It's not exposed to us. This is something the React runtime will calculate based on their internal representation of the web app. Um, so this one is like is the home host DOM updates, and uh, we have other three hooks we can use. Uh, great, and also. Insertion effects, mutation effects, and layout effects all synchronous, except the last one use effect. They are uh, committed in the next tick by rec scheduler. And here are some quizzes. Let's give it a try. Uh, the first one is uh, yeah about the timings on each effect, which is pretty straightforward, I think. Uh, as we've already mentioned, all the effects are committed in a commit phase, and these two functions cancel lock. 
are in a render phase, right, for this app component. So obviously, the 1 and 10 will be first locked. And then in the commit phase, we will go to the insertion effects first. Um, so 8 will be locked. And then layout effects, which is 6. And then the uh, passive effects, um, which is passive effects here. The first effect is trigger re-rendering. Re-render, but as we talked before, um, this is only done in the, it's just a, uh, doing the triggering and uh, mo uh, marks the React tree, like mark it dirty. Um, the actual re-renderer will be um, async. Uh, it's done by the React scheduler, so uh, nothing will happen for now. The effect will still be run, which is two will be logged, and then four. And then re-render kicks in. Again, the one and 10 will be first rendered, uh, be, be logged, and then we'll go to the insertion effect again. Uh, except this time the state changes and uh, the effect will be destroyed, previous one. So this cleanup will be run. So it's nine and then eight. It will be uh, committed again. And then layout will be, uh, layout effect will be processed the same way. So seven, six. And for these two hooks, yeah, uh, for this hook, it's uh, dependencies are not changed. So there will be no cleanup. And also for this one, cleanup. And then this one, use effect will be cleanup, five. And then all the uh, passive effects will be committed again. So it's two and four. I think it should be right. Great.